Hello everyone, it's Sabrina with Charlotte and Crowd, and I am here at the 2017 How Can I Be Down Entertainment Conference, and I have the lovely pleasure of speaking to the oh-so-cool, did not know you were so funny until just a few seconds ago. You're very funny. Matthew knows. Hey, Sabrina. <laughs> Boy, I'm having so much fun here. I'm glad. You I'm guys glad. are really rolling out the, the red carpet, the yes. white carpet, the southern hospital. Fatality you and <laughs> you know you gave me the church church hug, the church hug. Uh, boy, this is fun and, and you know I just had a great conference, of, you know a great group of young men and women in yeah. the entertainment industry that was just wanting to not just be down but they wanted to learn. Exactly. And, exactly. and part of uh, the organization of I just want to be down is knowledge. That is true. Just to be down, you because knowledge is power. It is. It a really, little really knowledge, is. a little power, a lot of knowledge. The world, the whole world is ours. It's yours, yeah. And you dropped a lot of knowledge. Like, seriously, when you had the young lady stand inside of the box, the visual of that was very important. See, we all hear about that thinking inside the box, staying in the box. But when you mention the fact that if someone is at your level and they're trying to pull you, well, actually not at your level, just trying to pull you down, then... You're in the box with them. You can't move. You can't go anywhere. And then you made them come out of the box and walk around it. And I'm just like mind blown because it's never been expressed that way. So I thank you for saving the box from Staples or wherever you got it from and putting it up on that stage. Well, we're not <laughs> gonna, we're not going to give them a plug. The Staples. Oh, okay, okay. But um, <laughs> what, who we are going to give a plug to is yes. you know my uh, book, uh, number one bestseller at Amazon. Uh, the DNA of Achievers. Yes. Uh, it talks about these 10 traits of highly successful professionals. Mm -hmm. And one of those is thinking outside of the box. You know, we uh, have been given these messages when we were kids from, right. the, you know, our childhood that says certain things we can't achieve. Exactly. Uh, when in fact we can, yet we still live with those messages, That's which right. makes us box in thinkers. Right, right. Uh, and not have the ability to do other than what people tell us. That's to do. right. You only and, can and, do this and much. We just, whatever they tell us, we do it. We never question it. We never challenge That's it. That's right. We never research it. We just do it. And, when did you break out of your box? I broke out of my box years ago. Really? I broke out of my box uh, back in around 1976, 77. Okay. okay. Uh, when I started working at Xerox Corporation. Okay. Uh, and, and I learned a lot. And then I, and then I talk about in my, my next book uh, mm -hmm. that's uh, be out next month, Racism from the Eyes of a Child. Uh, and I talk about uh, therapy. You know, okay. I, uh, I'm, one of the, I'm a black man that's not embarrassed uh, to say that I go to therapy. That's good. Uh, I think it's strength, people that are strong. It is, very uh, much and, so. And so that helped me get out of my box as well. Right. Just sitting with another person and them listening to m my challenges and my my being totally vulnerable. Exactly, um, letting it all out. And, you know, I say often that in my vulnerability lies my safety. So to answer your question, that's around the 70s when I was starting at Xerox and, right. and finding myself and trying to understand why I reacted certain ways or I did certain things. Exactly. Uh, that was very, that's very, where my strength started. Very mature of you. My mom's a shrink, so she yeah. loves to talk about See, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. Because of the church hug, right? Look at you. <laughs> Look at that rap song you just did for oh, us. Oh, goodness, yeah. Only a child of a therapist <laughs> would do that rap song. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, it was intense. That's it was true. intense. <laughs> Mom, it was intense. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're putting books out there so that people can follow along with your story, with your journey, and they're able to get something, a message out of it. Yeah. Because you're very, very diverse. Like, you have way more going on than people know. Well, that's like just, you're that's, a comedian for one, which well, I, I did not know. know. I, uh -huh. I, I just recently <laughs> found out that I was funny. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm flowing with it. I'm just... Right. At a point in my life where I'm just enjoying life. Yes. Um, you know, every day I get to do what I really love doing. And that's a beautiful thing. And uh, that's, it is. It, it really is. is. And so, you know, I, I teach at Texas Southern University. Mm -hmm. I, I also am a, a um, visiting professor over at Rice University. That is excellent. And, you know, I'm really, I love working with young people, and yes. I feel it's a privilege that I get to educate and to right. motivate young minds. Right. Uh, and so I'm just enjoying life. Uh, and, and, and you said something earlier. Mm -hmm. It's important, I feel, and I had a friend tell me just recently, 
look, if you don't tell your story, mm -hmm. then history is possibly going to tell a different story. That is true. Uh, that and is so, so I, true. I got on a mission about four years ago okay. um, that I want to allow the Jedi mind trick of our, our media today. That's right. Um, if there's one thing that this dude called uh, Donald Trump oh, uh, says that I have to say I mm -hmm. do agree with, there okay. is a lot of fake news. Okay. Uh, I, I, and and so that, right. that one thing I do agree with him on. Okay. Uh, we there's a lot of Jedi mind trick to the public, and True. they really believe this, what they hear and what they, they read. They put out what they want us uh, to know. Not understanding that it's at the end of the day, it's about selling advertising. It is. And it's about how can I get numbers so right. that I can sell advertising. Right, right. Uh, it used to be about journalism. And the reason I know it's not about journalism is 75% of the time they misspell Matthew. <laughs> Matthew is spelled M-A-T-H-E-W. -E <laughs> and so back in the day, seriously, back in the day in the 80s uh -huh. and 90s, if a journalist misspelled someone's name, they, might be they would probably get fired. Exactly. That was like number one in journalistic right. approach is you never spell somebody's name right, incorrectly. Right, that has definitely so changed. So that right there alone tells me that this whole journalistic yeah. approach, uh, it's just not where it used to be. No, it's not. It's really, really yeah. not. One thing I like that you touched on in, the, uh, in your speech today is not to dibble dabble in a lot of different things, to stay focused on one thing. Now, I'm going to ask a question for myself while I have mm -hmm. you. I started a business. I have to do everything until mm -hmm. I get more people. Is that okay? Or should you start the business and then uh, immediately start no, looking no, no, for no, people? No, 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 no. The key here is that whatever business you started mm -hmm. is a business that you're passionate about. I am very passionate because about it. Because if you are passionate about that business, yes. then you'll want to know everything about uh, exactly. it. Exactly. You'll want to. That'll be in my business. I. I, I want to know how to edit. I want to know. Right. I want to learn in every aspect of it. And right. I, also, as a business owner, mm -hmm. I want to know that because I want to be able to judge and be able to look at my staff and see if they're really doing what they should be doing. Okay. It gives me that, that, that element that I need to evaluate is the evaluation tool that I did the job myself. Okay. So I know okay. what's required. That's good. I like that very, yeah. very much so. So it's, I think that's an asset that what you're doing. Okay, good, good. I knew I had it right. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything at all that you want people to know about the conference? And as far as your, for people that may have not heard you speak today, is there anything that you want to leave with them that might help them in their career? Well, you know, we talked about in the 10 traits, but we, mm -hmm. we made it kind of slant to the music industry. That's true. Uh, and the thing we talked about is, first of all, being passionate. Right. And, and, and that thing that energizes you, excites you. Exactly. That you wake up and go to bed at night and you want to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, that one thing yes. we talked about, not yes. several, but one thing. One thing, okay. And focus on that. And work ethics and passion coexist. Yes. We talked about that. Uh, we talked about as we started thinking outside of the box. Right. Uh, but we also saw a video of Beyonce. Uh, one of the, the traits and one thing you have to learn in, in, in entrepreneurship mm -hmm. or any area is failure and mistakes is an opportunity to grow, okay. not a reason to quit. And okay. When you're really passionate and you're really taking risks, you're right. going to make mistakes, you're going to fail at some stuff. Right. Uh, the challenge is to learn from it. Okay. To learn from those mistakes. Okay. Because when you're a risk taker, you're going to make them. Yes, definitely. Uh, and, and, you know, I share this video that most people aren't aware of. All the it's failure really and all the mistakes yes, that yes. Beyonce had to go through. Right, right. Uh, starting when she was nine years old. Mm -hmm. They got a record. She got a record deal. Well, then it was uh, uh, girl's time. Right. Um, and I was the manager, and I said no. Right in the audition. At least folks said Flew in from That's New York. Really smart. He's like, like, nope. They're not ready. They're yeah. not focused. So yeah. you know, I'm sorry we wasted your time. They actually that loved amazing. that I did that. <laughs> and years later, the president told me, when you did that, I said, that guy is going to really make it in the industry. Right. Because it took a lot of courage to, to say, say no. no. Yeah. We don't want a record deal. They don't deserve a record deal. They yeah. haven't worked hard enough for right. a record deal. They're not mature enough for a record deal. That's amazing. And, and so that point was sometimes 
we think that we're better at something than we really are. Right. And we really need to get better. And focus. And not rush and exactly. think it's going to be microwave and happen immediately. Because that's not going to happen. You have to put in a lot of time like you have done. I have. And look where and you I are. Made, I made mistakes along the way. Of course. But I've learned from them. Right, right. So there's so much more left to do. Is there anything yeah. exciting you're working on? Well, it is. Um, Did you I was want to share? Canada. I was okay. in Canada. Um, uh, when you travel, you forget what day it is. I was in, <laughs> I was in Canada Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay. Uh, in Halifax. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful up there. And we, we uh, launched a new initiative. Okay. Uh, it's called the Nose Institute. Wonderful. Uh, in, in key areas of uh, music business, right. entrepreneurship, yes. and overall general business. Amazing. Okay. Uh, but we're launching where we'll, and, and we'll make the uh, true announcement. I'm kind of pre announcing okay. it now. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks you. for the tidbit. Thank you. Uh, but you know, the, the Nose Institute will have over 900 e learning courses wow. uh, with some continuing education courses. Really? Um, and, so and anybody could take it even if oh, they're yeah, in the yeah, States? Oh, yeah, yeah, in around the world. Oh, uh, this is wonderful. Because okay. we're finding e-learning, Yes. Uh, online learning is our future. Right. The same thing that happened to the CD player. Mm -hmm. Yep. The early cassette player became the CD player. Right, right, right. Became digital singles at Apple. Let's keep changing and changing streaming. and changing. Streaming is and a education big, is going to start doing more and more. You'll see more of not in the classroom. But e-learning. But e-learning. So, it's better than brick and mortar. You can't always get yeah. there. So and, and so you know, that's our focus. And That's uh, great. It's an exciting initiative. Yeah. And also there'll be a second part of it that okay. I have a lot of training courses yes. for uh, major corporations and oh, that's so for smaller amazing. businesses training, like how to train your staff in certain areas. Right, right. Um, this is exciting. I know who I'm going to go after as our first customer is going to be United <laughs> Airlines. Oh, really? We're, we're going to give training on customer service. Okay. So, but, uh, so this is going to be a but, big... But uh, I'm really excited about it. But yeah. Incredible, incredible partner there in Canada. Right. Uh, and my, my, my goal and my passion, I can uh -huh. articulate it, is to educate and to motivate. That's good. In, in key areas, entrepreneurship well, you, you and did that today. music business. Right, so. right. That's good. You should be able to articulate your passion. What is yours? Articulate it for us. Um, I don't even know anymore. I think I just want to be on TV. I think I'm funny, pretty silly. I'm being very reserved for you, but I'm about to make you laugh. You I did already. already. Laugh. Yeah, I did with the yeah. church hug. That's right. I got something else for you, too. What? And this has nothing to do with what we're talking about. So okay. It's going to be a different question. Y'all ready? You ready? Here we go. All right, here we go. Male R&B group. Who is the better one, Boys the Men or Jodeci? Go. Boys to men. No, Jodeci. He didn't like Venom. Boys to men. Because of the harmony. The Nobody harmony. can harmonize like boys to men. But Jodeci, all the whining and, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't I go that? to church for whining. Oh, my goodness. Well, he got me there. Okay, well, you know, we don't have to agree. We still can be friends. That's all right. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's your opinion. <laughs> you should have your opinion. I do. But and I'm a I'm boys to men. About it. Let me opinion. tell you my boys to men story. Oh, yeah. oh, you got a story. Okay, let's so, hear it. So, girls time lost on Star Search. Okay. And the girls were just boohooing. As soon as that camera, they got three stars and they gave the winner, they held it until that camera, they were just booing. Aww. I went up to uh, Mr. McMahon. Ed McMahon, I said, Mr. McMahon, I'm a parent, because I didn't go there as a manager. Right. My role was to all of their luggage that they had, because they thought they were going to win on Star Search for a month. Aww. We had literally another room at the hotel just for their wardrobe. Oh, my goodness. And so that's why I went down. <laughs> and so they had me to you know, carry the wardrobe. So after they lost, I said, Mr. McMahon, I can't stand to see my kid and all these young kids just right. boohooing and crying. Right, right. Tell me what I should do as a father. He okay. says, Mr. Knowles, I don't understand it. You know, all the people that consistently win on Star Search, their professional career, we never hear about them. But the Ooh. people that lose. And he started naming all the people that had lost, one being boys to men. Yeah. And, and I said, boys to men lost? He said, yes. He said, what? That when they lose, they go back and they rededicate, they yes, restructure. Yes. Get and I never together. forgot rededicate, restructure. Wow. Okay. He says, Well, did you know the uh, Boys to Men that you know now wasn't the original Boys to Men? They changed the member. 
No, I didn't know that. Well, <laughs> they did. If you look at the Star Search version, and now, yeah. and so I heard change. Right. Uh, and like change, I said today, with focus. change comes chaos mm -hmm. for a minute. And then uh, you have to manage the chaos. Right. But I just never forgot that that boys to men story. Uh, always stay with me. That's amazing. Matter of like fact, mm -hmm. the lady's first major tour was with boys to men. How you like that? How about, how how like about that? That, that is Their really, first really awesome. major tour of Destiny's Child, they were the opening act for Boys to Men. Wow. And all the girls were on the side of the stage while they were performing Boys to Men and yeah. learning everything they could. <laughs> I was back at the front of the house with the sound, right. learning everything Making that sure I could. Making sure it's right. Mm -hmm. But no, I was, I was watching when Boys to Men was performing mm -hmm. uh, to see what you know, the manager was doing, what the engineer was doing. I just right. wanted to learn. That Studying all the time. I mean, knowledge, again, is power. It is power. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us and chatting a little bit. Uh, we look forward we to... We chatted a lot. We well, didn't chat a little bit. I think we did good, right? Yeah, it was not bad. Hey, can I, can I tell your audience that I would love what? for them to go to Matthew mm -hmm. with one T. Yes, Matthew, one T. MatthewKnowles.com. <laughs> yes. And, uh, you know, every... Day I try it's not every day but uh, you know every other day I give some words of wisdom okay good good uh, and uh, they can keep up with what what I'm doing they right. can see all of my social media and, and where they can go too, right well that's not might I'm finished with racism from the eyes of a child we'll okay. have that next month okay uh, at the Black Caucus yes. Congressional Black Caucus good, so we'll, good. we'll launch there right I'm on chapter three of Destiny's Child autobiography the yeah. untold story because people books. don't really know the true story about Destiny's no, Child not at all so um, that's I'm on chapter three of that excellent uh, and when, when I finish that then I have another book that I don't want to reveal yet uh, okay. but uh, There's not more. not in the music you know I want to also balance my life stories outside of music. That's good, because like I said, yeah. there's more to you. You're very yeah. multidimensional. Well, yeah. thanks for sitting down with me. I'm gonna get another church hug when we wrap this up here. Yeah, Once can again. I get a church hug? Yes, you can, amen. Mm -hmm. you Say that amen again. Amen. Say it one more time. <laughs> no, please don't, because the yeah, don't have no training, and this is her. Amen. Ooh. Amen. 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 <laughs> well, I'm Sabrina with Charlotte in Crowd. And, and I'm Matthew Knowles. That's right. <laughs> now you're like my co-host. <laughs> and we're here at the 2017 How Can I Be Down Entertainment Conference. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs>